This is part three of movie jukebox demos that run on the Popcorn Hour network media tank. Today we're going to look at yet another movie jukebox, or YAMJ. This is the default version. Here we are on the index page, and as you can see, we have a wall of movie posters being displayed. This time we have five movies across with two rows. Along the top we see alphabetic links and on the left side we see genre and special links. We can use the arrow buttons on our remote to maneuver around and make a selection. Also notice that the selected movie or link is highlighted in yellow. If we have a movie highlighted, the movie's title is displayed along the bottom of the screen. A very nice feature, by the way. If you look at the movie posters, you'll notice that it looks as though the posters are sitting at an angle on a countertop and there's a mirror effect on the bottom of each poster as well. These effects are called perspective and reflection and they can be turned on or off by editing the properties file before running YAMJ. The default version of YAMJ has these features turned on for both the movie index and the movie details pages. In the lower left corner are page up and page down buttons in orange as well as the page number info here telling us that we're on page one of seven in our collection. Let's press the down arrow button on our remote to move around our collection. If we move down twice, the second page of our collection appears. And if we press the up arrow, page one appears. We can also use the page down and page up buttons on our remote as well. Now let's go back to page one. When we're on page one and we press the up arrow button, we can then access the alphabetic links along the top. Let's do that. And select the letter D. to display the movies in our collection that begin with the letter D. Very nice. Now let's press the left arrow button to access the genre and special links along the left side. At the top is all to display all of our movies. We have HD if we want to show only those movies that are high definition. We have movies to display only movies. New shows us only the new items that have been recently added to our collection. There's TV shows to show only television. And we even have a top 250 which will display only those movies in our collection that are in the Internet Movie Database's list of top 250 movies. I'm going to select the action genre and press enter to display all of the movies that are action oriented in our collection. Also along the left we have the other standard genres that we can select as well. I think you'll agree that this is a very simple yet effective index page for displaying and selecting a movie in our collection. Now let's select a particular movie and see what the details page looks like. Let's select the big bounce and press enter. As you can see, we have a large movie poster on the left with perspective and reflection added. At the top is the movie title and release year followed by the cast and crew information. Next are the genres for this movie followed by the running time 
an MPAA rating. Below that is the movie plot, followed by the movie file details information. At the bottom is the highlighted play button. If we press the enter button right now, the movie will play. We also can press the up arrow and select one of the genres. If we don't want to play this movie, we also can press page up or page down to go to the next movie details page in our collection. Here's Band of Brothers, a TV series. As you can see, everything is the same except now we have a play button for each episode. There also is a play all button to start with episode one and play all episodes in sequence. Let's press the return button to go back to the main menu. All in all, I think you'll agree that using YAMJ, the default version, is a piece of cake and anyone in the family would have no problems using this movie jukebox. Now let's take a look at the version called 5150. The 5150 version of YAMJ uses the same index page style as the default version, yet changes the way the details pages are displayed. Let's select the big bounce and press enter. The 5150 version has a slightly more pleasant look and feel. Instead of a large play button, it's smaller and there are previous movie and next movie buttons as well to either side. Let's press the left arrow button to go to the previous movie, which is Band of Brothers. For TV series, the 5150 version also displays the episode plot information on the screen. Simply press the up or down arrow to select an episode. Press play when you found the episode you want to view. Let's press the return button to go back to the index. So, the 5150 version uses the default index page with a slightly different details page. Now let's look at the version called GFB 107. GFB 107 uses the same movie details page as the default version, yet changes the way the index page is displayed. When you first run GFB 107, you'll see an intro selection page where you can select any of the alphabetic links for movie title or any genre links, special links such as high definition, or select a particular box set. Let's select Movies and press Enter. Now our movie wall is shown, this time without the alphabet and genre links along the sides. Anytime we want to make a different selection, just press the Return button. Now we also have 14 movies displayed per page instead of 10. I'll go select the big bounce and press enter. As you can see, we have the same movie details page as we did on the default skin of YMJ. I'll press the return button to go back to the movie wall. We also have our page information in the upper right this time instead of way down in the lower left. Everything else, though, is the same. That's it for this time. In part four, we'll take a look at more skins for YAMJ and see what they look like.